Welcome back to Fallout 4, Episode 2. We are back. I guess I should make a note here. At the very beginning of this. Last episode I left off asking... What, um... How long the episodes were supposed to be. Now... I'm starting off this episode with saying... It's gonna be a... It's gonna be... Actually, you know what? I left that comment, and or I, I told you guys to leave that comment. Now here's the here's the problem. By the time you guys are even seeing that first episode, last episode, it would have been, because I think I'm like two and a half months out in terms of stuff scheduled on the channel. And for all I know, I mean we're gonna be like. Maybe 50 to 100 episodes in by the time we even get to... Before the first episode even gets uploaded. So, I'm probably just going to keep it at 30 minutes. And upload every three days. And... In terms of how well they're scheduled, I can always adjust that when the first episode drops because you know everything already be scheduled i can just move when they go live move that around but i don't know like um how long you guys want the episodes to be i didn't think about that until just now because I, I i bulk record like it's the weekend here i can't really record during work because of uh notifications and stuff that would linger into the videos, so. It's mostly just, uh. I just bulk record. So. Let's immediately scrap here. Here we go. I'm pretty sure... I'll have to look at... I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure... You can just... Put all of your items... Inside of here. You don't have to, like, break them down. I used to break every... I used to drop everything on the floor and then scrap it. But I think you can just put all of it in here, and then when it needs, like, two cork, it'll auto-scrap it for you. I just- I'll have to look it up before we end up doing any, like, actual building or anything. The only thing that I can't remember is, like, if you need two cork and it takes the two cork, do you get the two plastic and screw as well? I don't know. Um, we're gonna say store all junk, though. And this is gonna, obviously, be our home base for now. Our home workshop. Just because, like, we're just gonna we're just gonna put everything. We can come back because you can fast travel. I want to go somewhere different because I always build in sanctuary. Oh, I just remember the name. I guess I just saw it too. But I'm I'm unsure. What am I trying? What am I even trying to say, guys? Eyeglasses. We can put that on. We can put one of these away. We don't need two. Just weighing us down. The security baton. I guess we'll keep it out, right? We should have some kind of melee on us. Um, we'll keep the wedding ring, because we can sell that for some nice money. Um, let's, uh, let's put, let's wear the, um, the eyeglasses. Um, before, before I forget, which we're gonna do a whole, a whole boatload of scrapping, but... 
um, we can get a free perk point here. And honestly, I'm just putting it straight into Charisma. Because I like my... I like having high... I think it, it's... It's better. Yeah, it's me, Codsworth. Wow, look at me. With the eyeglasses on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think that makes a little mic bump metallic sound every time I mute the mic. If it does, I'm sorry. I do that because I feel like that's less annoying than hearing me. Usually if you hear that, I'm either coughing or sneezes, sneezing. So. They came into the vault. Maybe they saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Only Miss Rose's boy got around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. Love that woman leaving her frat house. <laughs> You guys ever get into... This is such a side tangent from the... He's, I guess we'll wait for Cosworth to stop talking. We'll finish this compo. In a better place. Yeah. Mom, these things you all say, these, these terrible things, are... <laughs> Oh, 200 years. Okay. No matter how long it's been, I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, Mom. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and a little minor dings for the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> but I'd like it with you up a snack. You must be cabbage. Okay, so when it's yellow like that, you can persuade people, and you get XP if you succeed. You can also make a, you can literally make a quick save, uh, like if you press start and do quick save, and redo the check. Cosworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... See, we just got a little XP there. I think you're guaranteed to get to complete that check. I don't think you can fail that check no matter what. Okay, we got that. Um, it's not much. So, that's all that's left. That's not all that's left, Mom. There's, there's still you. And me. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir, the young Sean may turn up yet. Um, no. I shall be 
Uh, I guess we have to talk to him. Okay. All right. Do it. Lead the way. Yeah. No. It's not gonna. T I. I'm like, let's get the dialogue. It's not gonna take long for me to skip a lot of dialogue. I don't. I don't. I don't need. It. I don't even know what Call Wars has to say. How do we? Oh, squids! You can jump. I almost said you can't jump in the game, but you can. That opens that up. Ask for the flashlight. <laughs> okay. That's the inner vats. Um. How do you enter? How do you enter scrap mode? <coughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys. Ever get into a coughing fit in the movies? Like, like you'll be in a theater, and you're like, you want to cough, but you know you don't want to. You, you like, <clears throat> so you try and do like little like things like that, and you just like, it, you you can't. It's like I have asthma, so maybe it's just like an asthma thing. But oh my god, I go and then but you're like you don't want to like make noise to like make everyone upset with you. So you end up just not um, coughing, and then you're just in, it just awful. How the heck do we? Has to go in the third person. Oh, I see. How do I do that? How the heck did I do that? Oh, you just hold it down <clears throat> for a really long time. All right. Um, so this is how you scrap things. You just go like this. So as we follow Codsworth, let's just start. Um, it'll probably be easiest if we just start all the way down at the end here. You can get a big scrap right here, too. Bam. So we'll just start all the way down on the right side, kind of work our way. Um, obviously, I know that this isn't... Um, this, I, I usually make my base here, but I think this time somewhere else. I don't know where I want to make my base necessarily. I've, I've, had, I've, I've had more than one bases, more than one base. But, like, usually this is, like, always my first base. Maybe we should, like, make a beeline. Um, I think I've had a, I've had a base at the Starlight Diner before. I've had one, like, kind of on the... There's a rat roach there. I'm missing all my shots. Let me just go through a whole magazine. Please? Oh my gosh. Expect more of that accuracy. <laughs> Alright, open up the um, the menu, huh? Clear this road sign out. So, like, once you go beyond this green border boundary here, it's, um... It'll take you out of scrap mode. So you can scrap everything within this area. And, uh, we said... We, I know, we said we were going to start on the left side. So, like, all of this stuff down here is, like, all stuff we can build. So, we need to... All of the scrapping basically goes towards being able to, like, start base building. But, uh... I, I Yeah, I, I remember, I, I think, like... Did I have a base at the castle? I don't think I had a proper base at the castle. I had, like, an island near where that castle is. Like, bottom right of the castle. I think there's an island there. I had a, um, I had a, I had a, I had a base there. I don't know if it was a big base. I remember I made, um, I, I like, you can make pixel art with like light, these like light colored panels. It needs a lot of power, but it's like super cool. And I remember I made like a pixel art of, uh, Rotata from Pokemon. 
We should we should try and do that. Make some pixel art. That's like way down the line. Cause you you need a lot of power, which is a lot of materials. But basically, as long as you just hoard and bring everything back, you can get there, no problem. And I'm aware that there's a glitch. I don't know if it was patched in this PS5 version, but in the PS4 version, there was a glitch where you could glitch uh, materials. Um, like to get like super high, like to get XP and stuff. Basically, like you could just uh, duplicate copper and then like uh, be able to put down a bunch of statues. Um, which we won't do. For, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that unless it's like we're 300 hours in and we still aren't max perks. And because I think I can't remember. There's a trophy for reaching a, a certain perk level. I can't remember if that's a hundred or what, but we're gonna try and get there just normal game. Because that takes away a lot of the fun if you just lose out on all the perks and it just leveling is like a lot of the fun. And I don't know why, but this is I love just scrapping everything. This is like one of my favorite parts of the game, just scrapping stuff. I could scrap and base build forever, man, I tell you. Looks like we got a fence post hidden back here. Did we um skip going inside this house? <coughs> we did, yeah. Sorry about that, pardon me. Try and clear the road out too. Got a bunch of tires here. Bathtub, we'll scrap that in order to make a new bathtub. Anything else on the road here? Um, I'm gonna leave that there for now. Okay, that one didn't take 13 shots. Oops. Okay. There's a mailbox here, a tire we left in the road. Broken toilets, more scrap. Fallout 5, I know, it's coming. It's coming. We got a couple of years probably, but uh, one thing I would like to see improved is I'd love to be able to, like, actually, like, inside of the settlements, given that they still have settlements in base building. They, I'm sure they, they will, right? Given that they still do. I'd love to be able to, like, actually, like, clean up the environment within your settlement. That would be... That's, like, the only thing that you really can't do inside of settlements that I would love to be... I would love to see that added. And as far as I know, mods don't, like, exist for that sort of functionality. Alright, start scrapping the inside of this house, shall we? Um, I can't, I guess we'll kind of play it by ear. I, in terms of like, I'm trying to think about where I'd want to base, if not here. Cause like this place is, it's not a bad place to base, which is why I always kind of like base here. But. I've also, or did I? Because they have the, um, they have the, the special vault, right? Because I have all the DLC, right? We're going to do all the DLC as well. I have, uh, they have the special DLC vault um, that you can, like, totally make your own as well. We could make our base there. We probably should have saved that, tried to pick that for some XP, and then scrapped it. If we come across another one, we'll do that. We we could try and uh, we could try and head to the to the DLC vault. That might be fun. I 
I don't know if we'll be equipped enough to do it, but we can most certainly try. Actually, I'm almost certain we're not, because I'm pretty sure you got to fight a queen, uh, a queen mire lurk in there, which we are definitely not equipped to do. So we might just like make kind of like save all of our materials here. And then once we get good enough to go is that, I mean again we don't have to make our base there. That's just an that's just one option, right? I I had to look. The castle I'm not a big fan of the castle as a base. The nice thing about the vault is it's a it's a big a lot of open space. So much open space. But you do have to do a lot to actually fully unlock the vault. Because you have to become, I think you have to become Overseer, right? <coughs> there's a, there's a, there's a few roaches in here. You know what? We're switching to the baton. Guys, I wasn't that accurate. I didn't need to run away. Where'd the other? Where'd this other one go? There we go. <clears throat> I'll scrap that. Yes. Anything? Yes. Scrap this. Scrap this. Sometimes when you. <clears throat> My voice, pardon me, man. Sometimes when you, oh, I see, when you scrap um, certain objects, it'll like actually take away some of the the garbage in the environment as well. What was that? A cigar. Save that. I hoard the cigars. I don't scrap them. This gives us some. Um, Some yum yum deviled eggs. Store those. Trash all this. Trash that up there. Don't miss it. That's nice. Gives us some oil. Which is a sort of a, a rare... A little bit of a rare material. You definitely want to get oil when you can. There's probably some stim packs that were in that. Um, suitcase yeah so so like some of these are containers and if you notice it says contents were store uh, sent to the workbench if you scrap it while stuff's inside it'll just send it to the workbench is that an item no um, I think that's this house cleared And if you do big items, see there's a suitcase on top of that and it just did it all in one bulk thing. Which is kind of nice. Broken down fence here. Gotta get every individual post. I'm sure we're gonna end up missing something. You always do, right? It's like impossible to make sure you get everything. Come back for that when we get this uh, this house here. Yeah, some of these things you could technically repurpose. Like if you, you can then move it around and actually make it nice. But we are just gonna scrap it all because we are not basing here. Also, these like prefabs that I'm on, I usually use a lot of that stuff for my base building. There's a dog bowl out back. Let's get that. Another tree here. A few more. A couple of trees here in the back. There's a grill.
and you get quite a few like it's like 20 there but it's you go through it quick like see some of this stuff we're not outside of the green but we can't scrap this so it's almost like they forgot to add it to the area of scrappable stuff bit odd have we been inside this building i don't think so Let's scrap the stuff out in the street Um, I remember in my, um, the last time I played this, I could do it again, but then I'm just redoing the same thing. I had a, uh, like a station where I, I, I would hoard coffee pots and I had on like this neon sign that said, um, awfully hot coffee pots. Which is like a reference to, to an Eminem song. And I would just store all of Because every time I saw a coffee pot. Which I'm sure it's going to happen. Because I just saw one. It made me think of it. Every time I saw a coffee. Because I, I played. I, I platted this game alongside uh, Peyton. My friend. We played it like sitting right next to each other. And anytime either of us would come across a, a coffee pot. We would just say. Ah, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. And then we like made a shrine to all the coffee pots where we just hoarded them. We, we kind of made it like a, um, we made it like a game who could get the most, co the most coffee pots and, uh, and our storage. I can't even remember how many I had, but I know I had, I had a lot like 30, 40 coffee pots by the end of my playthrough. And I only think I started collecting them like halfway in. Ooh, desk fans are like a huge. Those are really good. See, like, why can't I get rid of these boxes? That's such a... Oh, I'm trying to play something. But we'll make up... We'll make a little... Uh, a nice little base for ourselves. Don't you worry. Did we get that one thing that usually hangs up above in the kitchen? think so uh, you can't get rid of the lamp I always thought that was a weird choice can't scrap that all right we move on next house oops there's a little tricycle here in the road sanctuary they're not all of the um, settlement this is definitely one of the I think this has got to be the biggest settlement in the game right I don't think they're all this big. This one is like a, a special... It's like specially big. I think it's like the starter one. So if you want the most space... The problem is there's a lot of space here. It's very big. But it's not a lot of wide open space. If that makes sense. See like this? post here i don't i don't think you can scrap that it's like impossible to get to highlight it let's um we'll look at this car get everything in this backyard i don't want to skip it try and stay organized Get as much materials as we can. It's probably... I don't know if this is boring. I'm trying to keep it entertaining with, with the commentary, obviously. But, uh... This is, a, this is the game, right? I just... I love... You gotta scrap. We gotta get materials. Wait till we start building the base. That's what's gonna be fun. Again, I have to. I'm. 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 Tr I'm really trying to decide where I want it. And there's some bases I can't remember. Ooh, this is nice. So the comics. When you pick up comics, uh, they give you like extra special stuff. I think we have to find a certain amount for our trophy as well.
I think there's one that helps you improve like trading, like cat prices. That's a pretty good one to get. So, cause there's like multiple grognacks. There's like tales from like a blah blah vendor or something like that. I think it's called, which is the one with cat prices. Gives you like good good higher trading prices or better prices when trading. Small baby bottle. Stove with a pot with a saucepan. We got a pepper mill here and a salt shaker. I can't uh, scrap the. Wait, oh, you can't scrap the saucepan lid. A tea kettle. You can't scrap any of that. Was this? This is our home, right? This is our house. Right? Yeah. Mr. Handyfield, the whole handy box, washer and a dryer. My mom used to work at a daycare, and um, she was she was the director at the daycare. And I'm not even I'm not I swear to God I'm not making this up. Um, she had these, I guess, parents that can't because right because you know. Parents drop their kids off uh, when they were enrolling. My mom was like, "All right, what's the name of uh, what? What's your kid's names?" Because you know you got to write it down on the application. And their names, they there was it was two boys. They were twins, and their names were Dewasher, Dewasha, and Dedraya. Um, and their and the, and the parents said that their name they were named that because that's where they were conceived. I thought that was pretty funny, Dewasha and Dedraya. So now I I I'm not even kidding. I would say about. 10% of the time when I see a washer or dryer, I think of that story that my mom told me. About how they, those parents named their, their kids. That, I mean, it's such a, I don't know. Like, funny, but I, I don't know. It's, it's weird, right? Anyways, there's a little, there's a nice little story for you. I should probably think of some nice, cool stories to tell during my, uh, during these, these scrap sessions. Let's see, do I have any? I don't even, how long have we even been scrapping? I haven't been paying attention to the time. I guess I should look over and, and see. 34 minutes, I think, is what I just read. Maybe this will be an hour, an hour long episode. We'll try and get all the scrapping done in this episode. That way, if it's boring, you can just skip it. Don't do that. I need the views. You should never skip off the video. I would never tell you to do that. But if you if you don't want to, uh, you're gonna miss this amazing story that I'm about to tell, though. If you do skip off, so. Um, what story you ask? Well. Give me a second. I, I gotta think of one. I don't just have one, like, queued up. I'm sure I can tell one. Okay, I got one. This is the first one that came into mind. It came to mind. So for this story, I am probably about... Oh, shoot. Actually, this goes way back. I would have been, I think, in... I think in kindergarten. I don't think I was in. I think okay. We'll just say kindergarten, give or take a year. Um, I know I'm basing this off as I know. This story happened uh, with my friend Joe Lane, and uh, we were only friends like preschool through kindergarten. And I don't, I think I was too young for this in preschool. Oh yeah, because this happened in my new house and I wasn't in my new house until kindergarten. Which is, okay. So yeah, this would have happened in kindergarten. So, me and my friend, Joe Lane. I guess I shouldn't say his full name. Whoops, it's too late now, huh? And you'll never find him. Anyways, me and Joe... We, uh, we were on a, ooh, we want to try and pick this to get some XP. Yes. 
And now we can scrap it. Okay, so me and Joe, we were on a T-ball team. And he get, they his parents dropped him off at my house, I think, so we could just, like, play for, like, 30 minutes to an hour before we had to go to T-ball practice. I don't know... I can't remember why or how uh, the events that ended up occurring happened. What what started. But in my mind, we were down in my basement. And I have, like, an unfinished basement. So there's um there, there was, like, this big, giant blue carpet down there. And I said... I said, Joe, you know what we should do? We should clean the carpet. Joe was like, you know what, Mason? That's a great idea. We should clean the carpet. I, I don't know if I said we should or if I was like, it needs to be cleaned. All I know is it was settled that we were going to start cleaning this carpet. Now, keep in mind, I have no idea how to clean it. First, okay, first off, the carpet did not need to be cleaned. There was nothing wrong with the carpet. I just wanted to, I, I guess, wash it, clean it. Secondly, I'm a kindergartner. So... I do. I definitely don't know how to clean the carpet properly. So what did I do? Me and Joe started getting. We there was a bathroom right adjacent to this room. Um, and we were getting. I think. I don't know if we were using. I think we were just using like towels, and we had we we took um. I think we took, like, soap. Oh, that was a scrubber. I should have saved that. We we took, like, a bottle of soap and just started squirting it all over this carpet. All over the carpet. And then we got towels and, like, soaked them in water. And we took the towels out and we just started, like, scrubbing the hell out of the carpet. And then we realized that it, uh... We were like, alright, now we gotta rinse the carpet. So we, like... We're getting, like, cups of water and kind of, like, pouring it on the carpet and then trying to, like, dry it. It, As you can imagine, it did not go well. It, it did not go well. I think it was either my... I think it was my dad who ended up coming uh, downstairs. He was like, all right, guys, it's uh, T-ball practice. He kind of, like, yelled down the stairs. And we're like, we'll be up, uh, we'll be up in just a sec. We're just got to finish something up. Meanwhile, we're like kind of crapping our pants because the, the car this carpet is just sobbing wet. We've made we've dripped water going in and out of the bathroom, like so that whole floor area is like full of water. This there's just soap and like foam and suds all over this carpet because obviously you'd need like you know a shop backer or, or you know an actual carpet cleaner to to pull the soap out of the carpet. So, I remember, oh my gosh, my dad ended up coming downstairs, because cause he was like, what the heck is taking so long? And he came down, and we're like, and he saw what we're doing, and he just lost his mind. He's just like, what are you guys doing? And I'm just like, we're cleaning the, we're cleaning the carpet, it was dirty. You know, he's like, what do you mean it was dirty? What are you doing? Oh, and, and he slowly, he just slowly realizing how bad and how much water we've actually gotten all over the place. And at, at this point, I can't even remember. I don't even know if we went to t-ball practice. What the hell? It's like something invisible here. Huh. Oh, this thing. So we ended up getting, I remember we had to get like, I don't know if he like got like a, a Bissell type thing and like sucked all the water up. I remember that there was like, we had like four or five box fans that were all just blowing at the carpet to help it like air out so that it didn't uh, help the water kind of evaporate so that it didn't become all moldy and stuff like that. And I remember we had those box fans were running for like days. It, it, I mean, that carpet was just a soaking wet mess for, like, almost a week. And 
we, uh, I was, I don't think I got in, like, much trouble. I was just told never to do that again. Because, I mean, I was, I was a kindergartner. I didn't, like, I mean, I guess I did know better, but I didn't, like, know no better. But I still got a very good talking to about that one. Man, there's all kinds of stuff that went on in that, that happened in that basement. Because I remember there was, um... Because eventually... So, like, another story is basically... Me and my brother, we... My dad, we would always want to play, like, in their... It's kind of hard to describe the layout. But we would want to play in, like, the back area of the basement. Which is where my dad, like, the furnace was back there. I remember we made, like, a, a fort or something, like, a hideout inside, like, right next to the furnace, because it was, like, a small kind of cubby sort of situation. It's hard to describe. Why? I don't know why. It's probably full of spiders, <laughs> thinking back, but we did. But we would love to go back there and play, climb on, like, all the storage racks and stuff like that. So my dad was like, you know what? I'm going to, he put up, like, this um, lattice, like, kind of... To like uh, kind of fence in the that whole room it's like kind of you put like a door with a lock on it with all this lattice and he's like you guys aren't allowed back there anymore well we still wanted to get back there i don't even know if it was just a play or if it was just we thought there was we wanted to see what was back there we thought uh it's i don't know we wanted to get back there that's, that was the point. So I remember me and my brother, because we, you know, we were still fairly young at the time. Not like overly huge, kind of small still. I remember we, for a while, we, I think, I think at the beginning, we found out that my dad was just keeping the, the, the key to the door like right above like right above the door, like like on the frame. So you could just reach up and grab the key. So I remember that we would just kind of like go get it, pull a chair up and like stand on the chair. Or I would like lift my brother up. Um, Cause I'm older and so I would like kind of lift him up cause he wasn't that heavy. And he would just grab the key. And that's how we would just, you know, unlock the door, get in. And then we'd have to make sure that we, you know, put the lock in, put the key back every time so it wasn't obvious we went back there. And I think at one point, I think, I think if I remember correctly, what happened was we went in there, but we didn't, but we didn't, either we didn't lock it or we didn't put the key, I think we ended up losing the key or we didn't put the key back or something like that my dad found out that we were getting back there that we were using the key so he ended up taking the taking the key and he he ended up like hiding it upstairs like and i don't i don't even know where bedroom i don't know he never told me i should ask him where he used to keep that if i remember i'll bring that up and be like dad where'd you, where'd you used to hide the the back the back room door key so after that um, we couldn't get in there because it was like an actual key because like some doors in that house like you could literally just like like some of the doors had like holes where you could just put like a bobby pin through and it would put undo the lock or the other ones you could like just put a file in and twist it, it wasn't like an actual key no this lock was like an actual actual key um so once he took the key, me and my brother were like, well, how are we going to get in here now? So here's what we ended up doing. Here's, here's what we figured out. We, at the corner of the lattice, like, cause we had, there was a toy chest kind of at the corner of the lattice, like on the outside, me and my brother, we pulled like oh, the toy chest away from the wall and we, cause like the lattice was kind of like just nailed, um, to like the two by four kind of frame on the obviously opposite side and we started pulling back the lattice 
And we would pull it back, like, one little, like, spot at a time. Just enough to see if we could, like, crawl through the lattice. And eventually, like, so, like, if we couldn't, if we couldn't pull it back far enough, we'd pull it back a little bit more. We'd, we'd, we'd rip a little, we'd pull it off a little bit more. Until we could just barely squeeze through to get into the back. So anytime we needed to get back there, we would just, you know, pull the toy chest away from the lattice. Because once you put the toy chest back, you can't tell that the lattice has been pulled up. Because it keeps it, like, pressed against the wall. So it, it's not obvious that it's been pulled back. So we would pull back the toy chest. And then that was always our entrance point. Because now that we had pulled it back, it's like, all we had to do was just kind of slip under there. And then anytime we came out, we just put the lattice back, kind of push it against the wall. And uh, then just put the toy chest up against the wall. I missed the, the bobby pin. All right. Well, that round of bobby pins. So that, and I don't think my dad ever figured out uh, until we moved. And I told him, like, dad, guess what we did? He's like, you did it. I'm like, we did forever ago. We've been getting, I think eventually, like once we got like older, my dad just, he didn't care if we went back there anymore because we were old enough to not like get in trouble back there. So we just like ended up leaving the door unlocked. But people bought the house probably have to fix that. Or unless I, maybe my dad fixed it before we moved out. I don't know. I should ask him if he ever, if he ever fixed it. I'll report back if I remember. If I even remember to ask him. We should talk to Codsworth while we're in here, right? We're getting close to scrapping everything. Can't be much left now. Scrap the pipe pistol. Although maybe we should have taken that. Might have been better than the handgun. Let's talk to Codsworth. Um, it's okay, Thanks, Cosworth. <laughs> You're just pointing me in a random direction. Well, I'm afraid. All right. Um, we will investigate Concord. Yes, 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 we will. All right. We're almost done here. We'll finish uh, scrapping up this. But yeah, that. That back room, that back room was something else. And it, because the problem was, another thing too I should mention is eventually, my brother and I, we started, we, you know, we were still aging. So we would get bigger and as we would get bigger, like every now and again, like every like six or eight months or whatever, when we, we'd have, we'd go, because we wouldn't go back there like every single day. It might be like, once a month, twice a month or something when we needed to get back there for something. When we would try and go under there, because it would have been so long, we wouldn't fit anymore. So we'd have to, like, rip a little bit more. So it, like, went from being, like, this, like, sort of, like, semi-small hole. It wasn't, like, that noticeable. To eventually it's, like, I would say, like, probably, like, a three foot by three foot and then, like, triangle section of the lattice was pulled up from the corner. So we could fit underneath of it because we had gotten so big. Which, I, I guess I'll re ask my dad. I'm like, did you ever notice we did that or not? Because I'm like, it did become somewhat noticeable by the end. Just because of how much we had put back at that point. Um, the food we're going to leave here because. Well, can you, I think, oh, you, you can store it, right? Let's just store the gourds. Because if we end up basing somewhere else, we're going to want that at other places. We definitely don't want to scrap it. Oh, I you can't even scrap it. Never mind. No harm. No harm than doing that then. All right, we're getting close here. There's just this last house here, and then I think the other house up uh, down the block. 
There's a tire in the road there. I don't think we've left anything in the road. Clear all this stuff up. So definitely make easy, make it easier to come and go. Um, that we don't need. Some of the stuff we need to keep here, like the <coughs> the stands. Oh, the battery's nice. Grab everything inside here. See, like, you can't usually scrap that lamp, but because it was on top of the box, you can scrap it one away. I like how this room has a light on inside of it, too. I guess uh, if we do move bases, we'll want to make sure we move all of our... Because all the, this is where the Minutemen come to, like... That's why you usually make a base here, is because it's just the default place that the Minutemen comes. That we meet in Concord. I guess, spoiler alert. Lol. But we can just move them after, after a while. I should probably, between now and next episode, I'll figure out exactly where I want to base, and then we can kind of beeline in that direction doing stuff. Um, that way we get closer to where we want to go. I'll have to look at the um, suitable locations, and then I'll make, I'll make a selection. Did you hear that? Something connected to a PC. I guess that would have been my work PC? I don't know what that was about. Which I've been having issues in its locked state. I don't know what the dealio is. It... I don't know and I have, I've been too lazy to figure it out. Alright, am I missing anything? I know there's some stuff in the water, but we don't want to jump down there because... Uh, we get radiation poisoning, right? The tire we can get, though. Although we might have just boned ourselves a little bit. No, we're good. Can't get rid of the sign, right? No. Do we already get inside of the house? No. Alright, I think this is the last house we have to scrap. And then we're finally done. little coffee cup another kitchen scrap all this stuff A sink we can scrap that A couple of chairs canned dog food store that scrap that can you scrap the light no That was nice. I gave us some some rubber. Could have been. Uh, didn't say there was any contents in there st stored, so maybe not. Pre-war money. Store that. That was a safe. We didn't have a bobby pin though. Although now that I think about it, there might be some bobby pins inside of the uh, side of the workbench. We'll take a look. What's that? A rug. Get some cloth. Come outside. Get some stuff here. Scrap. A couple more trees to scrap here. Um, I guess we'll, as we head up the road, we'll just pay attention because we didn't uh, come all the way into the yard, did we? I think that's everything. For the most part. We should be good to go good enough for me calling it good we can um okay so we want to transfer uh we want to store all of our junk let's um store uh, we can keep the pipe pistol because it's a different ammo type the book we can store that we should go cook that before we uh 
before we end up leaving. Um, yeah, so we want all the ammo, because it weighs nothing. Um, we'll take the frag grenades. Um, this gives us some charisma. This gives us some intelligence. Um, but we probably want some armor. But I guess we can wear it for now, right? Better than nothing. Aid. Let's go ahead and, um, we want the medics, potentially. Purified water we'll take. Stim packs, definitely take those. So, oh yeah, 16 bobby pins. Alright, I think we're going to leave off here. Uh, this has been quite uh, a bit of a longer episode. I'll, you know what? Look at that. You see that? Left a broken toilet there. It's been quite a long episode. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Um, if you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. That way you don't miss the next episode. Anything else I upload on the channel. And until next episode, have a great day, guys. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.